What's up, everybody? It's me. You're tuning into On the Radar, where we... My chair is crazy. <laughs> where we cover health, fitness, and tech. All right, so another one of those uh, subscriber questions. Told you guys it's going to be a new series. Um, so there's a couple of things I want to touch on in this particular video. One, I get a lot of questions people asking about. And it's, it's, it's strange to me, but apparently <laughs> it's a thing. I get a lot of people asking... Can white people use black seed oil? I even had one. Can Spanish people use black seed oil? Yo, you're human, right? Yes. White people can use black seed oil. Black people can use black seed oil. Spanish people, everybody can use black seed oil. <laughs> now, I want to ask you guys, what is it that makes you think it's not for everybody? Isn't everything for everybody? Now, I think some of the things is, um, you people primarily see black people talking about black seed oil on YouTube, so it makes them wonder. But, okay, think about all of the things that white people promote, and you don't see black people talking about it. Just, just think about that. If, if we're all human, you can use it. People give it to their dogs. So, <laughs> if black seed oil can be given to a dog, it's good for all human beings. Just want to get that out the way. Now, another thing I get a lot, people always ask, which one is better, the pills or the oil? I just talked about this in the last video, but really quick, it's the same thing. But you do have to pay attention to your doses because generally people are underdosing themselves when they're taking the pills. Check the other video, I'll leave it here, get all that information. Here's the main topic of this uh, video. So, um, Dennis Williams, salute to Dennis Williams, he left a comment and he was asking me about a specific black seed oil. He gave me a lot of information about it. Was asking, is it any good? So I'm gonna touch on a few of the things. I can't read the whole thing, it's way too long. Um, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it, but I'm not reading this whole thing. I'll break it down and... and, and so basically what he's saying is 100% based off of what the bottle says, it's pure, unfiltered, sovereign free, 100% um, pure, um, it lists the TQ levels. It says, it tells you to use it within three years. It does have a manufacturing date, which is good. Most of these companies don't give you manufacturing dates. Uh, and it does give you a batch number, which is, all, which is also good. It gives it five times TQ, black cumin seed, thymoquinone, um, naturally occurring 45 milligram, 48 milligrams. Um, that right there, you have to look at because it gives you the milligrams. And it could be me, could be my lack of knowledge, but you always usually see the percentage. And they give you the percentage of the other stuff, the omega-3s, the, uh, the, all the different omegas, all the different things, but then they don't give you the, the TQ percentage. Just interesting. I have to look further into that though. But five times TQ, I don't know what that means. And I just spoke about that in the video I posted before this one. I don't know what that means. What does five times mean? So. If they, they say their naturally occurring TQ level is 48 milligrams, so five times what? Five times 48? Five times the competitor? What does five times mean? We don't know. So this is what I was saying in the last video. These things are deceiving. I'll link that video up here also. These things are deceiving. Um, so you really don't know what that means. That's a little concerning to me because, again, and I, 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 I hate to keep bringing up Bionatal in every video, but Bionatal gives you their TQ percentage. It's 3.56. There's no in-between. There's no, there's no, you know, a lot of these companies, they give you an in-between ratio. And again, I, I, I mentioned this in other videos. I'll say it very briefly. It's because these companies are using seeds from all over the place. They're mixing seeds. They're using different potencies and all this stuff. And that's not really good. Bionatal doesn't do that. But that's another story. It's not what we're here to talk about. It is important though, because these are the things you need to know when you're talking about or, or trying to understand the TQ levels and why one brand is better than another brand and what you're actually paying for and what they're actually advertising. So these things are, are, are a little bit deceptive and most of us don't know this. Then at the bottom has a guaranteed authentic seal. But what does that really mean? But those are good though, I guess. What, what does it really mean? Um, last but not least, it's made in Pakistan. We'll get back to that. I really like the way it's packaged. It has a bottle stopper, extremely tight. It's only uh, for four ounces. It costs $15.80 plus tax. Um, 
and it says like one of your viewers commented it does kind of smell like motor oil so a lot of people kind of like link link i can't like it or they compare it i can't think of the right word they kind of compare a certain black seed oils to motor oil because it's dark it looks you know smells fun kind of does smell like i don't know it, yeah, it kind of smells like it sometimes, kind of definitely tastes like it, kind of looks like it. But then we say it tastes like it. I don't know too many people that has drank motor oil. <laughs> so anyway, let me, let me stay focused. So the fact that it's made in Pakistan, that's interesting because a lot of the, um, is it made in Pakistan or is it produced in Pakistan? There's a difference. Meaning, are the seeds grown in Pakistan or are they importing the oil and processing it there, or are they importing the seeds and processing it there? Those are things that you need to know. And I, I may be getting too deep, but these are the things that you need to know about these different black seed oils. So um, we know that the strongest seeds that you can find are from Ethiopia. Those are the strongest seeds. So if you're getting seeds from anywhere else, it's, um, not, it's the pot not the most potent ones you can find. Now, you take Amazing Herbs, for instance. They list their, um, their main black seed oil. I, I can't remember where it's from, so I don't want to screw it up. But they also have a mild one, which I have right here. And it's the Egyptian one. So if you're getting Egyptian seeds, um, it's mild. Now, another side note real quick. People think I do all these videos on black seed oil and I promote bionatal because it is the strongest. It is the best in my opinion. People either don't know or forget that before I came across Bionatal, I was trying other black seed oils. I was, a trying, I was trying Amazing Herbs. I was trying the Blessed Seed. I was trying these other brands. The videos are still on my page. They didn't go nowhere. So I've used these other brands and I still use and try these other brands. So I'm going to do another video on this. This isn't the time for this, but I just want you guys to know I have <laughs> all of these different brands. Like I and I know it's because I haven't said anything, so people don't know. But it's not a game. I use this stuff. I buy this stuff. I try this stuff. I compare this stuff. So when I'm speaking, when I'm speaking, it's facts. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not just randomly. Listen, I'm sorry to go off on a rant right now. But a lot of these YouTubers, they just be reading stuff online. And, and they, 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 they give you these comparisons, these reviews. They give you their opinions. They, they might have only tried one or two black seed oils. They have very limited knowledge. And they, they're not using all of these different brands. They're not buying all these different brands. So they're just going online, they're researching, they're, they're reading, and then they're regurgitating the information that they read online. So listen, when I'm telling you about these, these I'm buying them, I'm using them, as you can see. So it is what it is. So when I say something's the strongest, I'm saying it because it really is, because I use this stuff and I know. <laughs> so... Anyway, I know I kind of got sidetracked. <laughs> Bear with me. But, but it's real. It's real. And, and if you can find another YouTuber that has all this information because they've used all of these different brands and they've purchased all of these different brands, let me know. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for the rant. But as far as when, when you understand where the different um, seeds come from and the different oils come from, then you understand, okay, if it's from this place, it may or may not be good. Um, it may or not be the best. And if it's not from Ethiopian seeds, then it's not the strongest. So that means whatever you're buying for, it might be okay for you. It might work, but it's just not the best. And if you're putting something in your body and you're trying to improve your health, you want the best, right? I don't think you go to a doctor and say, well, I, I, I want to go to this subpar doctor, you know, because because he's, he's closer to me. No, you're gonna go to the best doctor. If you're trying to buy, you know, go buy a car or, or you're buying food or whatever it is, you're gonna try to get the best that you can get. You're not gonna purposely buy something subpar. So it's just something to think about. So my opinion on based off of all the information you gave me, you, you bought the oil, try it. Um, let me know what you think about it, but just know there are better oils out there. So. If you're saying you paid, you know, and, and I understand for a lot of people, it, it comes to the convenience of, is, is I, can I get this oil? Can I, and you know, some people don't want to order stuff online. Some people don't want to travel. So if the store's in your neighborhood, it's right there. It's very easy for you to get. They're going to just grab it. 
and then uh, the biggest thing is also the price. So a lot of people can't afford the more expensive oils. I fully understand that. But again, you have to think about something. If something is cheap, it doesn't always mean that it's good. Sometimes it's cheap for a reason. And you just have to take that into consideration. Now, you said you got a four ounce. Um, a lot of these other brands, they come in 16 ounces and eight ounces. So I know that bottle is very small. So that's kind of like a tester, which is cool. Um, but I would say, you know, you can check out my videos. I'll link them here. I have a lot of information on all these different um, information on Black Seed Oil from the TQ levels and all the different stuff, to all the different brands. Um, definitely do your research and dig deeper because, again, you want to get the best stuff. And if you're saying from Pakistan, that you just know right off the bat that they don't have the strongest seeds. So if you get this black seed oil that you're using and it works for you, see benefits, just know there's other brands, there's better brands, there's stronger oil, there's stronger seeds, so you'll get more benefits. So, you know, that's just some things, um, you know. So just to recap real quick, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, the TQ level, we don't know what that, what that 5X means. We don't know. I'm not sure what the difference between the milligrams, because I, I, I can't remember the difference of how the milligrams translates to the percentage. And like I said, if they're giving you the percentage for everything else, why are they not giving you the percentage in that? Because that's how the, the, the TQ um, levels are usually um, spoken about in percentage. So they're giving you milligrams. Um, and then, you know, just know that they're, they're stronger and better black seed oils. But, you know, from what I see, they, they do give you a lot of information, which is cool on their bottles. But like I said, if you don't know, it can be deceiving. So do your research. Um, do your research. <laughs> Any other questions, let me know. But definitely, again, see what that black seed oil does for you. And, 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 and you know, check my videos. You'll find more information and you'll be able to make a, a more informed decision next time on your purchase. Hope that helps. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something else pops up on the radar. Salute.